Guys, I've made a huge discovery that you're not going to believe. I've been playing a lot of online matches lately, grinding to get 5,000 applause. And although I was having a lot of fun, it seemed to be taking a long time. So I thought to myself, there has to be a better way. It just so happens that later that day, I came across someone talking about how great the rejoin feature was in online mode. This got the cogs in my head turning, so I got straight to work testing it out. And this is what I discovered. Go in to find a match. You can choose any maps and any set of rules. It won't affect what we're doing. Join a lobby and wait until we've got three other players. As soon as the match begins, just go ahead and close the game. And it's important that you do completely close it. Now, depending on how many turns you selected, is how long you can go and relax for. If you just did the default 15 turns, that's about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna go play some Pokemon. It's been about 45 minutes, so we're going to go back into the game, even though I want to keep playing Pokemon. Make sure you go into online, and then it should pop up with an option to rejoin the match. If the option isn't there, then either the match is ended, or more likely everybody left. You need at least one human player still in the match. If you rejoin and there's still five or so turns left, you can actually close the game again and rejoin later on. You can rejoin as many times as you want as long as the match is still going. And sometimes it will take a while because it won't rejoin you until the beginning of the next turn. So it looks like we joined back right on the last turn, which is perfect. And now we're just going to wait until the applause. Mash, 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 mash. All right, so we just got 125 applause from doing basically nothing. But this isn't where the video ends, guys, because I wanted to keep digging. Now, I've already got most of the achievements in this game. So to continue my research, I had to use another account that had never played this game before. Now I'm going to use the exact same strategy and we're going to see what happens at the end of the match. So I've joined in at the last turn again, which means I've basically skipped the whole match. The match is over, I did nothing on my last turn, but watch what happens here. We just got three achievements, but we haven't even been playing. After a little bit more testing, it turns out that the game actually records everything from that match even though a computer took your place. As long as you join back in before the match ends, you get the credit for everything that happened. This includes all the spaces you land on, your coins, stars, everything. So you can essentially get every board game achievement by just playing Pokemon. I honestly couldn't believe it when I figured this out, but I just had to tell you guys. And obviously it's up to you how you want to play the game. Make sure you play at least a few matches online, because it's actually a lot of fun, and the stickers make for some awesome interactions. But otherwise, enjoy not playing, I guess. Anyway, that's it from me guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.